Hey, hey, hey everyone, Rezbowski here, and welcome back to our Pokemon X Wonderlock. In the previous episode, we made our way to Ambretti Town, fighting our rivals along the way and kicking their motherfucking asses in the process. We also managed to get ourselves a couple of good captures, which meant we used them as wonder trade fodder and got some interesting Pokemon in return. Today, everyone, we are going to be heading into the Glittering Cave because we've been sent on a mission by some crazy ass scientists. But before we go ahead and carry on with the storyline, we're going to quickly check the results of the working and twerking grinding montage because we're looking sexy eyes guys yes i'm really pleased where the party is at the moment um, we are a very, very good stage of the Wonderlock, and I'm really pleased with how shit is going. So let's quickly run down the party, yo. So we got Krogunk, our female, at uh, level 23. She is doing great there. I put her out front um, because she needed a bit of leveling up. Moving on, we have Butterfree. Butterfree is still with us from the very beginning, yo. When she, when he was a little Caterpie, now look at him, level motherfucking 28 and destroying things right, left, and center. So, um, Butterfree is going to be taking a back seat in the episode, hopefully, um, because he is so over leveled and we don't want to be uh, making the game too easy for ourselves now, do we? Um, he also learned Silver Wind in this episode, which is a bug move, which is also special. Um, it's a special move, not physical, which is pretty damn good. Moving on, we have Aeron, our hopefully our first motherfucking Mega when she evolves into an Agron. Uh, thankfully, you guys have decided that we can trade the Agronite over to this game for my other game, so we can have ourselves a Mega, so that's pretty damn good. Aeron has the move Superpower and Stealth Rock, which is pretty damn good. Loving that shit, loving that shit. Onyx here, uh, standard Onyx here, female, level 26, loving that shit. Moving on, and finally, guys, here we go, the big reveal in the previous episode we managed to get ourselves a timid eevee and i asked you in the comments below to uh, suggest what eevee lucian we should use and jolteon was the most suitable um, I think it was very close between a couple of them. Uh, a lot of people were saying, uh, just use Vaporeon because that is your favorite evolution, Raz. And I was like, yeah, I should. But at the same time, Vaporeon speed is ass. And uh, the nature was uh, timid, which boosts speed and lowers attack. So you can't go wrong with a Jolteon, man. I mean, we need an electric type and uh, Jolteon fits the bill perfectly. So Jolteon, motherfucker, welcome to the party. And finally, here we are. We've got Sandile. Uh, if you watched the Working at Work and Grinding montage, then you would have seen Sandile is the uh, Route 9 capture. So let's start off this ep... Well, actually, let's carry on. We'll uh, hopefully get another capture in the Glittering Cave here, and we will do uh, everything we need to with the uh, Wonder Trades at the end of the episode. But let's just wander through this cave. It's so fucking dark, yo. Um, I didn't want to do too much in the, the grinding montage. Um, that's why I've left the Glittering Cave in, because a lot of it is storyline-based, and we don't want to be moving too far ahead. But here we go. This is the first encounter in the Glittering Cave. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? A matchup, eh? Hiya, matchup. Hi, motherfucking hiya. Um, matchup was one of my favorite Pokemon in the first generation. Um... Honestly, I, I, I don't know why. I think... Um, let's put Butterfree in so he can put the match up to sleep. I think it was mainly because when it evolves into a Machoke, uh, and then finally Machamp. It, it, Machamp has got four fucking arms. How can you go wrong with four arms? It's like, who's that guy in Mortal Kombat? Who's that guy in Mortal Kombat now? Oh, shit. I think it's... Is it Goro? I think it's Goro in Mortal Kombat that has four fucking arms and looks like an absolute monster. And that is exactly why I like Machamp. So Machoke has always had a special place in my heart. Um, uh, Machoke, Machop, Machamp, all of them pretty damn good. I used to always call them Arnie as well. After Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know. Get Arnie on the go. He has four arms. He's so damn strong, you know. Get in the ball, Machop. Um, that was a, a terrible Arnold Schwarzenegger impression, but you know what I mean. There we go. Get in the ball, get in the ball, you dancer. There we go, guys. We've got um, a matchup, so that means we've got a Sandile and a matchup to be trading away at some point in this episode. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, get some pretty sweet Pokemon. Now the Pokebank is out in Japan. We may, we may get ourselves some rare Mons. Oh, um, I would love a Darumaka. I would love a Darumaka. Come on. Pokemon gods. Any god. Um, please smile down upon, on, uh, down upon us today and give us a Darumaka. That would be fucking amazing. We could do with a fire Pokemon. Um, I think. Is there an item here? I don't know. Let's quickly check it out. 
I can't remember where the items are in here, if there are any items, but it's fine because we can just have a chat. We can chat, we can talk about what's going on, on the screen and stuff. Um, but mainly what we wanted to chat to you guys about today is uh, we have been... Uh, Let's just run away from this guy, we don't need to. Uh, we've had Pokemon X and Y for quite a while now. How many months is it? Three months now? Three months we've had Pokemon X and Y, and uh, there we are. We have got an item here, a hard stone, which I think boosts the power of rock moves. Um, I will have to check that out at some other point, though. Yes, we've had Pokemon X and Y out now for three motherfucking months, and it has been a joy. I, I have absolutely loved these games, and I'm really pleased that I've got myself the capture card, and I can play through Pokemon X uh, on the channel with all you guys because you guys are loving it, but What I wanted to ask you today question of the day everybody is uh, yes We need to get out of there Lunatone is obviously a special attacker and Has psychic moves shit shit shit. Are we just gonna have to keep using fucking? Butterfree here. I think so, but um now we've got a bug move Will the bug move affect it. We'll try the bug move anyway Yes, now we've had it out for a while and everybody's loving it and stuff Um. Obviously, they're going to be starting to add downloadable content soon. Downloadable content will be coming at us, coming at our faces at some point soon. Um, whether that's going to be in the form of a uh, like an expansion pack, if they're going to do that, or if they're just going to be events like before. But what I want to do is question of the day. So listen up, prick your ears, everybody. Is uh, what what do you want from a downloadable content? Uh, do you want it to be, like, extra mega evolutions? Do you want it to be, uh, like, a, a whole new region? Um, I don't know. Just just something small, something big. What I was thinking was I would like some more mega evolutions. I'd like, like, an extra, like, just a wee bit of storyline. Say an extra hour's worth of storyline. And you got some extra mega stones. I think that would be really cool. Because there's a potential of many, many more Pokemon. Um, let's get rid of Astonish. There's a potential of for many, many Pokemon to mega, evolo uh, mega evolve. Uh, mega evolutions are exactly what this, this game needed. Like, that's what they ho build the whole game as. So, what I'm thinking is in the downloadable content, they, they're obviously going to add some kind of um, extra mega evolutions. Because if they didn't do that, it would just be pretty fucking pointless. So... We'll, we'll, we'll just see, we'll just see, but if there was to get Mega Evolutions, guys, what Mega Evolution would you like to see? What is your favourite Pokemon that doesn't have a Mega Evolution? Or is there a Pokemon that you think in particular deserves or, or needs a Mega Evolution? For one, I would love a Poliwrath, like a, a Mega Poliwrath or a Mega Politoed. Imagine that, imagine a Mega Politoed. I would love the shit out of a Mega Politoed. Imagine the rain that came down from that. It would be fucking raining hell and brimstone. It would be so damn good. Uh, I, I, I can just picture it being absolutely fucking huge, badass toad. Maybe got the bulk of the, the Poliwrath, but obviously with the drizzle ability and stuff. I don't know. Um, has, in fact, has, has anybody actually seen uh, a picture? Has anybody seen any artwork of a Mega a Mega Politoed or a Mega Polyrath? Because I would love to see that. If you've seen it, link it in the description below. Uh, well, the, the comment section below. I would love to see that shit. But guys, what, what Mega Evolutions do you want to happen? Um, obviously, there's rumours going around of Hoenn because we've got uh, the, the potential. The, the next remake could be Hoenn and we've got uh, Mega Blaziken kicking about. So, obviously... Uh, Mega Swampert could kick about. I, I've seen some cool, really cool artwork of Mega Swampert, and um, that's that the the potential for that Pokemon would be absolutely monstrous. I think somebody was talking about it at one point that it could it could have some insane, insane abilities that would make it so damn strong. And I love Swampert. I think Swampert is one of the best Pokemon. Um, and, and, well, one of my favourite Pokemon. It was it was always the starter I would choose because, I mean, come on, Mudkip is like the fucking cutest out of there. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, pop in the description, the, the comments below, um, what Mega Evolution you would like to see. And in any DLC, do you think they're just going to add extra... Extra Mega Evolutions, or would you like to see a little bit more? Like uh, like I was saying, maybe an extra hour of uh, storyline content would be quite nice with a, maybe a Mega Evolution at the end of it. Um, say you went off to another island or something. something. Just something basic like that, just to keep us going um, while we wait for, a, wait for a remake or a Pokemon Z 
as it uh, seems to have been built. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, let's see where we are in this cave now. Seem to be walking past an awful lot of kryptonite. Superman would shit his pants in here. But it looks like we've come through some sort of vagina into an opening here. So we must be in the womb of this place. And what's going on here? Look at this motherfucker. He looks sharp. Or is it a she? What's this? Oh shit, motherfucker. This guy is sharp looking. Well, well, what do we have here? A noisy little trainer has come poking around. Listen up, motherfucker, with a fashionable team whose very name makes people tremble in fear. Team Flair, motherfucker. Team Flair's goal is to make it so we're the only ones who are happy. We don't care one bit about what happens to other trainers or Pokemon. Get out of here, kid. Don't you know not to play with fire? Uh, no. Sorry, I, I love playing with fire. I cook some sausages and stuff. Getting my fancy suit dirty isn't the stylish way to th do things, but if you insist, I'll obliterate you. Get him, Hounder. Okay, Hounder is coming out. And Team Flair, this is the first time we're encountering the bad guys of this uh, bad guys of this generation. Generation 6 is the fashionable generation. Or, as I like to call it, the generation of priority because of all the fucking sucker punch moves and that. Fucking hate that shit. Anyway, uh, enough complaining, and let's see what we can do to this Houndour. Now, oh, it, Houndour is dark fire. What can we do to this guy? Let's put in Onyx. Onyx should be able to take anything that Houndour has. Um, I don't know whether to evolve Onyx into a Steelix or not, because obviously it's going to add that extra fire weakness to it that um, it wouldn't have before, that I don't really... Don't really need because we've got air on for that. So I think leaving Onyx as Onyx uh, might be a good shout. But let's see, let's see. Let's go for the, the Rock Tomb here because Smackdown, it's not flying, so it's not going to do the extra damage. So let's see, eat that Houndour right in your fucking face. And the Houndour has gone thanks to super effective moves. Guys, know your types, man. Know your motherfucking types. It's taken me so long to try and uh, get to learn all the types and what advantages they have. No, we're going to leave this guy in because... Zubat is going to eat a fucking smackdown right in its stupid ass face. Go on. Oh, the quick claw has activated. And here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Eat that, Zubat. You have been one flattened motherfucker. Yep, you just, you just faint, man. You just faint. Here we go. And fight. Oh, Jolteon has grown to level 11. I love the experience. Oh, Sandile's growing as well. Poor wee Sandile. You're not getting used, though, man. And we've defeated the Team Flair Grunt. You may have beaten me, but when I lose, I go out in style. I don't think so, man. I really don't think so. I really don't like the orange jumpsuits. You look... You look ridiculous, mate. You look fucking stupid. The way you style your hair, the orange glasses... Mix it up, put a different bit of colour in there. You just look shit, man. What's this? You're pretty tough Pokemon trainer for a kid. But watch yourself. I'm not the only member of Team Flair. Okay, well, you're the only ridiculous one here. Because, oh, for fuck's sake. Right then, girl, let's fucking fight. Um, Team Flair were okay. I thought they were one of the better, I suppose, of the bad guys. But you just can't beat Team Rocket. You can't beat Team Rocket. Team Rocket were the original. They were the ones that really got shit done. Um, Giovanni, man. Oh, what a bad guy. What a fucking bad guy. Really, really like Giovanni. And uh, uh, what he did for the world. He really did a lot for the world. He really... Oh, fuck off with your yawn, Gulpin. Um, let's bring in somebody else. Gulpin is poison. Oh, fuck. We could bring in... Let's let's just... Let's use Aeron. Let's try not rely on Butterfree too much, because Butterfree is so damn over level. We could be here all day. Um, but Butterfree, he's just got so many good moves. He's got so many good moves. Amnesia, right, you can raise your shit. Special defense, I think. But luckily, we're going to be using physical hit moves anyway, so... Let's go for the Metal Claw. Is that going to help us out? Amnesia is boosting the special defense again. Come on, Aeron. Come on, motherfucker. Look at you bobbing about from side to side, yo. Bobbing about from side to side. And we're going to go for the Metal Claw. That'll do a bit of damage. Okay. Let's do the Metal Claw again. Oh, fucking yawn. Yawn. Bastard. Um, yeah, Team Team Rocket have always been my favorite because they were the first ones you have when you were kids. Um, it was always... You are just like, yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. They're... They're going out there, all the japes that Jesse, James, and Meowth get up to. And it was always pretty incredible that Meowth could speak, because no other Pokemon could. Um, but, hey, that was it. And there we go, Gulpin has disappeared. I think we're going to fall asleep here, which is going to be annoying. Krogunk goes to level 25, that'll do. 
Um, and there we are, fucking asleep. I hate yawn, man. Honestly. Right, Electric. So, let's put in Onyx here, because Electric will be able to do fuck all to Onyx, because Onyx is one bulky motherfucker, and uh, Electric moves are not going to do anything to it. Okay, so, where are we? Um... And one other thing that I was doing today, I was doing a lot of breeding because I've been trying to get myself... Oh, the Quick Claw has come out again! Move it on! But it uses Quick Attack and gets fucking priority anyway. Priority moves. Case and point. Generation 6 is the generation of priority. Damn. Man, fucking damn. It's going to use Quick Attack again, isn't it? I've used Curse by accident. Fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant. There we go. The Quick Claw, uh, we got first go, and I used Curse instead, which was pretty shit. Speed fell, but the attack rose, and defense rose, and it's just going to use Howl, which is going to lower my attack, if I remember correctly. Oh no, it's raising his attack. Uh, but we'll be able to finish it off this time. Um, he's going to go first, though, because, well, I've just lowered my speed. Oh no, I was still going to go first. That's pretty good. See you later, Electric. Um, you motherfucking dick. <laughs> So yes, I was doing a lot of breeding again today because uh, obviously I'm getting my teams ready for Wi-Fi battling with you guys, which um, I've had a couple of Wi-Fi battles with you, and you are pretty good. I really enjoy it. I've uh, lost some, won some, and I've had some good fights. Uh, when I find uh, an absolutely amazing fight, I will upload it to the channel. But it's just finding time in between these videos because they are obviously my priori priority generation of priority. But you know what I mean. Um, oh, fucking, these guys, these gingers everywhere, come on, let's just, oh, here we go, girl. There are two members of Team Flare, well then, are you ready to team up and battle them? You bet your motherfucking, I guess I will, I fought with uh, another guy, I fought, I just fought with another guy, one of the, well, fucking hell, I'm just smoking. If you just want to take people in Team Flare happy, why don't you just do that? But, if you're gonna go around threatening other people, we won't let you get away with it. You shits. You're damn right, Serena. Why would these guys go about making people unhappy when they could just make each other happy? You know what I'm saying? They could... There's a male, there's a female. They could make each other really, really happy. So Serena, she's going to send out her Esper and we're going to go straight for Krogunk. So it's Krogunk versus Scraggy versus Krogunk versus Esper. Okay, so we're going to go straight for the revenge on the Scraggy. A light screen, yeah, you protect us, motherfucking Esper, you go for it. Hopefully, we can get off a decent revenge on the Scraggy without taking too much damage. Oh, shit, Esper, fuck. And faint attack, that Esper's gone, man. That Esper has gone. Oh, damn, I hope she's not playing a Wonderlock because that Esper is dead, man. Oh, no. And Scraggy's got the Moxie boost. This is dangerous, yo. This is dangerous, but we got the revenge. Hopefully, that'll take out the Scraggy in one hit. It will take him out. Out and goodbye, Scraggy. Goodbye, little Scraggles. Sorry, Callum, for uh, defeating your best friend. But there we go. There's a uh, Butterfree up to level 29, man. I think we need, might need to box Butterfree at some point. But there we go. She's bringing our Absol, and we're gonna. What we're we gonna do against the Toxicroak? What we're we gonna do against the Toxicroak? Can we just revenge the Toxicroak? Will that work? Absol's going to use Leer, lower its defense, and then we're going to go straight for the attack, which is going to be good, actually. Yeah, you can taunt me all you want. Oh, you're going to taunt her. Um, but that's fine. We're going to use the revenge because you've lowered the defense. We're going to work as a team perfectly. Hopefully take off... Ah, uh, I didn't take off half. Okay, okay, okay. Can we go for... No, Dark's not going to work on it. Let's go for Revenge again. Hopefully, uh, Absol uses some kind of move. Perfect. Absol's going to use that. And uh, kill it. Fucking brilliant. Well done, Absol. Thank you very much, Serena. Great work, you little bastards. Um, and there we go. Jolt's going to drone to level 13. And uh, he's going to learn Quick Attack. We don't want to learn that. Give up and learn a Quick Attack. Yes, we did not learn Quick Attack. That is fine. And uh, hopefully that'll be these uh, guys gone. Okay, see you later, guys. And we are going to celebrate with a fist bump, girl. Thank you very much. Uh, Oh man, my favourite fashionable Team Flare suit is filthy! Oh, so filthy! If we can restore fossils, we can make some good money! Well, girl, thank you very much uh, once again for uh, double teaming some guys with me. This, this foursome was incredible, guys! But I gotta go! Got shit to do! So, here we go. Let's grab this uh, Pokeball real quick, which is the escape rope, which is perfect. We're going to use that to get out of here, because I can't be arse walking around. I'm just a lazy fucker, yo. And here we go. Here's the scientist. Oh, fucking clueless. The scientist has no idea. Did you find him? 
No fucking shit, Serena. She, he, he's like literally right behind me. Oh, two kids alone in a cave with me? It's my lucky day. Oh, hello. Here to look for fossils as well. Are you okay, Did Flame? Team Flare, come here. Tim Flare? What's that? A Pokemon? Oh, don't worry about it, you old fuck. It looks like he was completely absorbed in looking for fossils. You two are very lucky. I just found two fossils. They're both ones I already have, so I'll give you each one. I'll give you one each day. You can have one. Do you want the jaw fossil or the sail fossil? I want the jaw fossil because the motherfucking Tyrant is amazing. It's the jaw fossil. It looks like it could chew anything up. Is this the fossil you want? Yes, motherfucker. Hand it over. Stop being creepy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do I have to touch my junk now? Well then, I'll take this one. I love how chivalrous I am in the fact that I go first and not her. Chivalry is dead. Generation 6. Chivalry is dead. I'll restore your fossils and turn them back into Pokemon at the Fossil Lab. Hope to see you there. Well, he was one interesting character. Okay. Well, girlfriend, uh, we're alone, finally, in this cave. That's like a vagina. Well, we went looking for the assistant, and we found that suspicious group. Kill Team Flare as well. Yeah, I guess I should train more so I can travel safely with those Team Flare people running about. In that case, I guess the best thing to do would be go and challenge the Silent Shitty Gym. Silent Shitty Gym. <laughs> but first, I'm going to smoke a bowl. Want to join me? No, girl, I don't do drugs. Drugs are bad, I'm okay? Drugs are bad, I'm okay? So, we want the escape rope. Where is the escape rope? It's got to be down here somewhere. Okay, so... Obviously, the jaw fossil is going to give us um, a brand new Pokemon, which will be Tyrunt. I love Tyrunt. It is one hell of a sexy Pokemon. Like, ah, oh, see, when I found out that they, like Tyrunt and uh, Aurorus, um, were going to be the, the fossil Pokemon in this game, I was like, truly, these are truly motherfucking fossils. They are like Jurassic Park style. Um, and that is exactly what I want. So, let's put on our repel because I don't fancy fighting any fucking. Uh, Pokemon on the way back because we need to get back because we've got some fucking trades yo We've got some trades to get so let's come along here. We're gonna have three wonder trades guys Oh, oh wait a minute. Do you know what I should do? Let's come up here because I forgot to get an item before look at that guys fucking moonwalking It is moonwalking so let's come up here I forgot to get an item over here And it's always good to get items because you never know what they could be guys You never know what they I can't I can't fucking get past that Fucking rock. Smash the rock. Smash the rock, bitch. Smash that rock. Smash the rock, bitch. Smash that rock. Smash the rock, bitch. Let's go around here. Pick it up. It is a Firestone, so we could have got ourselves a Flareon. But no, we decided to go for the uh, the Jolteon. I think that's a very good choice, uh, guys. I really I really like uh, the way you guys think. You've got, you've got a brain for Pokemon. Because the timid nature is just going to make it a monster. The other option was an Espeon. Um, but we've got... We kind of got Butterfree for that role just now. Because uh, sh he's got high special attack. And obviously... Oh, fuck. Wrong way. Look at that moonwalk. It's fucking fantastic. No, no, no. We want to turn around. Come on. Keep coming. Keep coming. We want to go down here. Yes, use another repel. Um, yes, because obviously we could have... Uh, we've got... We've got Butterfree for the special attack. And it's got Psy Wave. Um, so we don't really need the Espeon just now. And I thought Jolteon is going to give us good coverage for uh, the entire game. So let's just keep that motherfucker going. Let's see how we can keep, uh, how long we can keep these Pokemon. Unfortunately, we have lost one so far. But hey, it's a Wonderlock and shit is going to happen. But here we are at the end of Route 9. So let's go and uh, find that creepy guy. Revive the Pokemon and then get ourselves some Wonder Trades. Yo, the best part of the episode is getting the Wonder Trades. So, Ambretti Town. I think that's how you say it. Ambretti Town. Sounds very Italian. Sounds very Italian. But the, the whole thing is based off of Europe anyway, isn't it? The whole region of Kalos. Um, with the Eiffel Tower, obviously, in Lumio City and all that good shit. So, uh, let's put Jolteon in the box just now. Um, let's put uh, this Onyx in the box just now. Let's bring it Machop with uh, a Modest. Modest is a terrible nature for you, Machop. An absolute terrible nature. And let's go and revive this uh, Jaw Fossil real quick. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I love the fact that when when the, the Fossil Pokemon were revealed, 
uh, what you can actually get from it. Um, the fact that they were going to be fucking uh, a T-Rex and uh, a, like a, what, a Brachiosaurus sort of thing. Because they were two awesome, awesome Pokemon. I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are like my favourite thing in the fucking world. And uh, it's the only project I ever tried in school. And Jurassic Park is the absolute tits, yo. Uh, make sure you've seen that. If you've not seen Jurassic Park, then you're missing out. But surely everybody's seen Jurassic Park by now. Anyway, guys, the most exciting part of the episode is coming up. We are going to uh, do some wonder trades real quick. We've got three Pokemon, Sandile, Matchup, and Tyrant. Uh, let's see uh, the summary of Tyrant. Uh, it is a, a quiet Tyrant. That Tyrant is awfully shy. Look, it's a fucking T-Rex. It is a T-Rex, yo. Okay, okay, let's get straight into this. Let's uh, load up the Wonder Trade and see what we get in return. But while we're waiting for this to load up, guys, um, as I said before, what Mega Evolutions would you like to see brought to the game? Answer in the comments below. What designs have you also seen on the internet that you think look pretty cool? Whether it's your favorite Pokemon that's getting a Mega Evolution or one you think deserves it, like a Mega Butterfree. Mega Butterfree would be fucking amazing. Imagine that thing with like eight wings or something. Just side beaming the shit out of everything and stun spot and it would be fucking amazing but yes answer in the comment section below what uh what uh mega evolutions uh, deserve to be in the game and uh what mega evolutions have you seen that that people have made fan art on deviant art or whatever uh, that has looked pretty cool uh, i would love to interact with you guys so you guys are really good at answering the comment section below and it's great to see what your ideas are and i think this is a very this is a very open question because people are like yes this this guy needs mega evolution or or this pokemon needs mega evolution other people are like no no this one needs it and people have come up with some cool designs so I would love to see your thoughts and feelings on what Mega Evolutions can potentially come to Pokemon X and Y, yo. But here we go. The first trade is a Deli Bird. A motherfucking Deli Bird. The Christmas Pokemon. Okay. Okay. Um, a Deli Bird will do. Uh, King Nappy might be pleased that I might use a Deli Bird in my challenge. But Steve has sent over his Deli Bird. And that's an Ice-type Pokemon and Flying potential a potential partner for the team a potential partner i can see that happening i can see that happening and um, but with the three three trades in this episode it's gonna be fucking sweet because the party could change up dramatically which is what i like and because experience is so easy to get in this game it could be good so we've got cam hustle daily bird um, not the na nature i would want it but hey it's a motherfucking wonderlock yo you never know what you're gonna get okay so what we got next we're gonna be trading out the matchup and hopefully, hopefully getting something good in exchange. Look at it just pumping its fists. It's pumping its fists in anticipation to be traded off into the world. Where will it go? Where in the world will it go? I'm going to guess America, because uh, Americans at this time of day, well, there's going to be loads of these on. So the United States, there it is, Tennessee, yo. Nice to meet you, Jacob. Um, what are you going to give us in return? Please make it something good. Please make it, please make it a Darumaka. If you can make it a Darumaka, I will love you, Jacob. I will love you, Jacob. What are you going to get me? What are you going to get me what are you gonna get me it is a oh a dragon but i will take that we haven't got a dragon pokemon yet and if it has rough skin maybe maybe but the potential dragon is that you can catch this guy later on in the game so it might be level 50 plus which means it ain't gonna listen to shit i have to say we only have one badge we only have one badge and that is no use to man nor beast when it cries when we are trying to control level 50 Pokemon. Look at that Pokedex. 84 now. 80 motherfucking 4. We're doing great, guys. We're doing great. Oh! It's a level 1 timid sheer force Drodagon. I think that guy might join the party. I think that guy might join the party. Okay. 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 Let's take that. Let's take that. Oh, timid though. That's, that special attack lowers attack. Oh, maybe it won't work. Anyway, I'll have to look it up. But here we go. We'll send out the final one. We're going to send out the Tyrant and see what we get in return, yo. Hopefully, hopefully something good. Because, oh, look at the design. I just love the design of the Tyrant. It's just perfect. It's I think it's absolutely perfect. That massive fucking head, those tiny little arms, is definitely a motherfucking T-Rex. And it looks so, so good. I think that, I think that is the, the best designed Pokemon in... Uh, the new generation. That my 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 opinion. The the Tyrant. It's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. But here we go. We've got another trade from the United States. No females today. God. Absolutely God. But hey, here we go. We're gonna see what we get this time, and we're getting ourselves a Carbink. Okay, that's a fairy Pokemon. That's a rock fairy. Is Carbink? I think it is. Um, if this is bred up, then potentially again. 
sent over Harrier. Okay, Harrier, welcome to, uh, potentially welcome to the party, Harrier. Welcome. Let's have a quick look at these Pokemon, see what we've got here. And, uh, again, if there's any Pokemon you think we should use in particular, pop it in the comments below, yo. Pop it in the comments below. But Harrier's level 23, so it looks like it's been a, a, just a recent catch for this guy. It's got clear body, a neutral nature, it looks like, bashful. And it's come from the Reflection Cave. But it's got Smackdown, Reflect, Stealth Rock, and Sharpen. Another potential party member. What I think I might do, I might use Dragon. Because... It could be good, it could be good. I'm not sure about the, the nature of it, though. That's the only thing. Raises speed, but lowers attack. I think it's mainly a uh, physical attacker, so I don't know there. I don't know. I'll have to check all that out. But there we go, guys. Um, um, there as another episode. No passerby, Abby. Oh... Uh, you know I like the women, but no traders for you just now. We're going to close out this episode. But there we go, guys. We have destroyed the Glittering Cave. We've got ourselves three new Pokemon for the party, which is pretty damn good. Remember to ask the question of the day in the box below, which is what Mega Evolutions would you like to see coming to the game in the future? You all know that I'd love a Mega Politoed. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've been Razbowski. You've been the wonderful bastards as always for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye.